Well, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I've been off on some tangents recently, and it occurred to me it's really important to put this video out now. Um, you can see we are in the month of October, and it's free right now. There is no fee to send in a soil sample here in North Carolina, and my guess is it's probably similar in the other states around the country. This is a not-so-busy time for the agronomic division of soil testing, and so they allow us to send our garden samples in or field samples, whatever you're doing, um, and, and not have to pay a fee. So it's just the cost of shipping it. So this is a little box, and it's thin cardboard, and um, you will note on here that it says, um, do not use this box as a mailer. But it gives complete instructions for how to take the soil sample, but I'm gonna go out there in the garden and do it and take you along with me. And um, yeah, I'll be posting, today is Friday, um, so I'll be posting this out on Monday. And when I get the results back, I'll let y'all know. In addition to this one, I am also going to send a soil sample into another lab where I do have to pay for a soil test. Um, however, that company or that lab provides uh, additional information, and I'll put that together in a separate video. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. It's, um, it's fall uh, finally here, and um, time to get the garden prepped up for garlic, so I'll be posting another video about that as well. Anyway, um, thanks for joining me in this little one, and um, let's go get some soil and get it so, ready. First of all, um, they recommend to dig down six inches to, to take your sample from a, a core of six inches down in a bed that's been tilled. And all my beds have been, you know, turned over by hand. Um, so I'm taking samples six inches down. And if you're starting a new garden area, say out in the lawn somewhere, you'd only need to go down four inches. But they recommend taking samples from across the space that you intend to garden in because different crops that you've grown um, will, if it's an existing garden, will take out different nutrients. And so by getting a cross section in the case of a vegetable garden, you're gonna see what the overall soil has and what it lacks. So you'll know what to do to um, re remedy it. And um, they say put it in a clean plastic bucket. Um, <laughs> none of my plastic buckets are clean anymore. <laughs> so I just got a plastic grocery bag and um, putting the samples in there. And I will um, go across the garden and um, get my samples now. There's a pumpkin. Oh, that's a cory, one of those cory squashes hiding in there. So anyway, I will um, do that and then you'll get to see the next part. Okay, having collected oh, core samples from across the garden and I'll mix them up and I'm going to leave this out here in the greenhouse. Um, oh, so today is Friday, I think I mentioned that, and I'm going to leave it out here in the greenhouse over, uh, over the weekend. I'll package it up sometime on Sunday. This will allow the soil to dry out just a little bit and uh, make it a little less weight for mailing it into both the state lab and the Logan labs. And then um, I'll also put it through a little sifter to take out some of the, if there are any stones or anything, I already, <laughs> already found one, but um, if there are any bigger pieces of um, rock material, I'll take, I'll take that out also. So, um, yeah, so that's where we are with this and um, more to come. And uh, just in case um, you missed my other uh, video about um, making nature prints, um, using the boiling method of making nature prints, um, I've, I left these out um, since yesterday out here in the greenhouse to dry out because it's so nice and cozy in here. And they're drying out and they're just beautiful. Um, so if you missed that video and you want a creative project to do over the weekend or um, share with your kids, um, check out my other video. Hey, okay, so uh, this is what I'm doing. I went out to the garden and I collected samples from five more locations. And I'm just sifting them into this jar. And then I'm going to fill the jar with water, shake it up really good, and then let it set out on the counter for 30 minutes. This is a test anybody can do at home. It doesn't cost anything, just a little bit of time. And what it's going to tell you is the composition of your garden soil. Is it sandy? 
Is it silty loamy? Is it full of clay? Whatever it is, this test is going to be able to tell you. So I'm just going to finish um, sifting this into the jar and then you'll see what happens in the next part. Um, I'm just trying to hold it against white paper. Got three inches of soil in this jar and then we're going to go fill it with water and shake it up. Okay, got it shook up here. And just for scientific purposes, <laughs> I have my little timer set for 30 minutes and you can see what that looks like. Ooh, it's kind of messy. Um, I'll start the timer for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay. I actually let the timer go another 30 minutes, so it's a little it's been a little bit over an hour. And as you can see, um, the water up top is still not clear. So I can't really do the math equation yet because we're not completely settled out. So I'm going to leave this overnight and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to do the math then. Basically, what we want to see is how much sand is at the bottom, what sort of um, loaminess is in the middle, and then on the top part, that will be the clay. So that's, and then the percentages of each of those will allow me to know what the garden soil composition is. So we gotta wait a few more hours and hopefully um, the rest of the clay that's in the soil will settle out and we'll be able to get um, an actual uh, percentage. Thanks. Thanks for your patience. <laughs> hey everybody, good morning, welcome back. <laughs> so uh, the clay material still hasn't completely settled out. However, it's settled enough for me to do the calculation. So we have, three quarters of an inch at the bottom of sand. We have an inch and a quarter of the silt and we have um, a half an inch of the clay material at the top. Now, the ideal situation is to have 40% sand, 40% silt and 20% clay. What's here in my garden is 30% sand, 50% silt and 20% clay. So basically what this tells me is that I could improve my loam situation by getting a little bit more sand into the garden. And this would possibly explain why sometimes carrots have some challenge um, really getting through because they like a more sandy soil. Um, the remaining stuff at the top here that hasn't settled out, that was just like the organic material that was in um, the soil, I sifted a lot of it out, but there was still a lot of fluffy stuff in there that um, made up the original mix of soil. And then I think you can see the, the gradation as, you know, the water is super cloudy here and it's less cloudy there. I'm just going to leave this out. I'm curious to see how long it will take before the really, really fine particles of clay settle out. And I think you can also see there's like a little light yellow line at the top where it's, you know, those really fine particles are settling out. Anyway, I hope this was of interest to y'all and maybe got you curious enough to like to investigate what the soil composition is in your garden. I'm going to be sending out or mailing out the actual samples to the labs on Monday and it'll be a little while before I come back with another video revealing what the soil tests show um, about the minerals and the pH and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for joining me here and I hope you all are doing well and having a fabulous weekend. All right, see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.